Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. I told y'all the other day, I got, well, I, if, yes, if y'all follow me on um, Instagram, I got this new robe. And at night when I'm tired, I feel like putting on real clothes to these reviews. And y'all gonna catch me in this goddamn gone robe. So guess what? Sit down. It's late Tuesday night. It's around 1130. Um, Tuesday, we finna, you know what I'm saying, sip some tea. Let me get my little... stuff together yep y'all know my mug will be available next week but yeah this is just some quick 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 little you know what i'm saying gossip stuff that i do every once in a while um just throw some things out there when i'm not doing a, a show review so as y'all know oh wait did i start with the whole lipstick of today as y'all know my favorite is fenty beauty the stunner lip paint i had showed y'all was the right way? I showed that that before. That is Brianna's Fenty Beauty. So, yeah. Someone else had asked what color my nails were this week. I don't know if y'all meant this week or last week. This week, this is the color that I'm wearing. It is a Sally Henson. Uh, pre pretty piggy bitch. <laughs> Petty ass. But, yeah. This is the color that I'm wearing this week. And last week, I had on this blue Sally Henson color. This one is called Tidal Wave. So, yeah. Um, as y'all ask questions, I try to answer them. So, y'all see from the title of the video what this is about. So, the same way that I review Kaya's first, not Kaya, um, T.S. Madison's first different kind of live show back. I'm going to be saying for Kaya, I'm an equal opportunity reviewer. And y'all know Kaya not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? I don't watch her show. However, I think everybody deserves a chance to do what they want to do on YouTube, on Instagram, or wherever they want to do it from. So, Kaya then went and rented out a club, baby. And she is doing her um, gag orders from some club in Atlanta. And I'm like, is it a strip club? Is it a gambling club? I'm not sure. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Let Kaya get her money as she sees fit. You know what I'm saying? Let her rent out whatever club she want to rent her a club out on and do her live gag order. Okay, cool. Now, I would have at least covered up that sign behind me that was saying something about reporting fraud or cash payouts or abuse. I would, that's what made me think, like, is it a strip club? Is it like, a, like is it a gambling joint? Cause I, I Googled the phone number and it's like a gambling, um, <laughs> where I was like, what, why wouldn't she cover that up behind her? I think what she should have really done was get a picture of herself, gag order and put that behind her so that when she is there live that, you know what I'm saying? It's still all about her. So I think that, um, I mean, I think it was okay for what it was. I did not like her being on that microphone. I felt like the microphone she was using um is usually used when you are at a venue and it's loud in there because the microphone it kept getting like a feedback and so for me she was too loud and at points i couldn't even really understand or hear what she was saying because it was like the microphone wasn't right so that to me was kind of a little it was crazy and because it was quiet in there um the microphone was just too much she could have just really just talked herself so that part i mean i i wonder if she thought it would be a bigger crowd so they gave her the microphone because of course it's a club so that's probably what they have so it wasn't a huge crowd i think it could be because maybe they only let select people in um maybe a lot of people didn't know what it, where it was about or what it was who knows um because this seemed like it was a lot of open space you know all up and through and i mean yeah so but yeah i thought she was too loud because I, I watched it it was like an hour i watched the first hour i don't know i don't know how more how much more it was past that hour that she, that she had on her little youtube thing i watched that much well i skipped through a lot i skipped through some because as I, as I told y'all she not my cup of tea but you know it was what it was really you know she looked great you know, let's let's put that on. She took that dang on head wrap off. You know, somebody put her in a little all white outfit. Now she's like a thugged out angel, and you know it it was cool. But I also want her to uh, work on her camera angles simply because I know when they show her when well, when uh, AC Alien showed them out looking for looking at the venue, 
um, she had mentioned that she was going to have her own camera crew. Now, I don't know if that was allowed or true because what I do know is whoever, whoever video this was that was uploaded, they did a horrible job. Like, the camera was shaky at a few different points. We were only looking at her breast. At a couple different points, it was only at her, at her waist. Um, some points, it was looking up her nose. So, whoever she had recording for her did not do a good job. Um, I th they kept showing her having her own self on her hand that she was going live on. I want her to get that on the tripod. Like, I want her to get people to help her and make it look more professional. Because um, she kept, like, picking up her own cell phone and flipping it around. And, and I'm like, why don't she have somebody doing that for her? Just so that she can kind of be the host of it all. And she not being the hostess, the MC, the goddamn camera lady, the goddamn music DJ. That she ain't all that and more. Um, so that part to me was a little bit, was a little bit different. Um, but yeah, the camera that kept moving her f at some point you couldn't even see her face. I'm like, is nobody watching this? Like, is nobody paying any, any attention to it? I mean, and I get that she probably went live on her on her phone, and she probably had other people record it on theirs, and that might have been what they uploaded to YouTube. I'm not sure. All I know was the feed that I saw that was on her YouTube. The um actual well, what's in my hair? It's probably some lint from this new ass robe. Um. Just ignore that, people. I'll get out when I walk around here tonight. Yeah, she it was distracting, and I just wanted her to get that fixed. Um, so that, to me, was kind of crazy, too. Because I, I feel like Kaya has her show down for how she wants to have it. She does, She's doing it for shits and giggles and roasting and gagging. She has that down to a T. And now, as I said, ACA Lean is trying to help her get the money of the money aspect on top of that. Okay, cool. So if you're going to take it from out your goddamn old house off that real couch into this big club atmosphere, I get that. But you know what I'm saying? The same way Maddie's show had some errors that first episode doing something different, hell, so did Kaya's. Uh, and mostly it was the, the, the microphone being too loud. People, I'm pretty sure it was it was just hard to hear what she was saying at some points. Um, the camera being very shaky. I just need, think she needs to just go, go on down to Amazon spend 15 20 dollars get your little tripod by my put your the phone like my phone right now because i do man on my on my iphone it's in a tripod i just bought a new ipad i had an ipad before but i bought a new ipad and i got a, a tripod for that as well just so that you're not worried about the angle you set it up you see yourself and you leave it sitting there and even if you have people shooting b-roll do that separately like don't you be the b-roll shooter kaya you be the you be the star that you want to be um so for that i was like girl just get that fixed um what else what else what else I think that's about it. You know what I'm saying? It was it. It looked like it was about 20 people there. You know what I'm saying? It, the club did not look packed. But again, as I said, I'm guessing she did not want it to be packed. Um, it was. We see that ATA Lane was there. Um, I mean ATA. Yeah, yeah. ATA Lane was there. That her her co-host dude was there. He was there too. It was a lot of different kind of people there. You know, people were supposed to dress in all white. I guess it was an all white affair uh, for what it was. And you know, she tried something different. I guess she's gonna be there every Monday. Um, during her lives, I just hope she watch the video back and be like, we need to get these cameras steady. We need to have this be more. We need to, even when they was putting up little, uh, snapshots of stuff they were talking about, honey, they didn't even have the guy dang on screenshots cut off to show that there wasn't a screenshot. You could see what's on somebody's iPhone. You could see what time you was taking. I'm like, y'all didn't think to make the, uh, I'm just like, if you're going to do it right, then do it right. Okay. If you're going to do it professional, do, be, be professional. You don't see people, you don't see Wendy Williams. The real uh, Ellen. You don't see anybody else who talk about people and stories on their shows, and they have a freaking screenshot of something, and it's the it's the literal screenshot. Now I know she had brought up they was having some kind of technical issues with getting um, things up on the screens, because that's what she kept on saying. I want to have stuff up on the dock, up on the screens, honey. I guess that didn't work. So you know, I mean, I think she had aspirations, and she not aspirations. Yeah, I think it's the aspirations. She she wanted some shit, okay? And something she wanted might not have might not have happened. Because again, it was her first live show in this place. Um, so yeah, that kind of was crazy to me. But overall, it was it was what she always do. I still don't understand why she doing it at a club. Um, I hope she's making more more money doing it that way because my thing is there's no point in paying for space at a club just when you could really still do it at your house to get your just get your your spacing set up better. Um, and I'm like, what's the point of having it at this big club if you can't fill the club? 
just wondering. Um, she was roasting and gagging people. You know, she do what she do. I ain't got no issue about what she say, how she say it. The one issue I did have was she she brought up Emily and Fab or whatever. And, you know, this is how she kind of was like, you know, Emily, um, they kind of gave her, was given like jokes about her staying. And that, uh, <sighs> I just feel like when somebody getting beat, we don't know the reasons why they stay. And I feel like, you know, in one in one way or other, we all live in glass houses. So, I don't, I think it's a way to discuss people doing dumb shit and staying in dumb situations. And not making a joke of it. And I felt like they was more making a joke for getting their ass beat. And saying how, you know, she ain't got nothing else going for herself, so she stayed with him for the money. To get her ass beat and I was like uh you know it was a little you know action for my tasting but that's what she do that's her style of stuff so it was what it was um she did speak on uh Tiffany Pollard New York and um TS's show that they did was the last year last week and I've as I said before I don't think I don't think AT Alien Kaya TS and I don't think any of them should address each other. I think they all they all now have their own whatever. People still feel some kind of way because T.S. stole Queen's Court from Kaya or whatever. And they want T.S. to move on from that and give it back to Kaya. Kaya has gag order. You know what I'm saying? Kaya has gag order. Was it, I think gag order is cute. I think it is what it is. I think they all need to move on with their own endeavors. At this point in time, they all making their own money. Um, Kaya will be fine on her own. T.S. will be fine on her own. I think it just took people longer than they thought it would take to get over the breakup of the act, the original Queen's Court. So now we have gag order. And now we have the Queen's Supreme Court. Two different things. And so we have AT Alien doing her whole AT Alien live stuff. So, you know, they all have their own. Let's, let's leave it at that. Okay, let's leave it at that. Um, but even when she was cracking on, T, uh, on Tiffany... All she brought up was stuff in favor of love from what twenty years ago? Well, not, maybe not twenty, maybe ten. I don't care. I think I don't think Tiffany was mimicking Kaya, trying to be Kaya. Um, I think Tiffany was herself. That's how she always is. That's how she was on Flavor of Love. I don't think she was an imitation of Kaya at all. So I think the reason Kaya even addressed it was because she saw the show and it was entertaining, and she felt and she felt some kind of way about it being successful for that particular episode so she wanted to address it um but you know they all should just move on from it you know they just stop addressing each other keep doing their own shows kaya will be successful ts will be successful and as i told y'all before kaya ain't my cup of tea but i wish her success but i also want to get them goddamn sound issues fixed get a new microphone fixed get a goddamn tripod um fix and just do those little things with boo and cover the goddamn sound behind you and put up something that says gag water with your name on it because i was like is that number for her is she the gambling queen like what's going on right there i just didn't know what was going on so other than that it was enjoyable you know for people who like her um this some this is too loud she don't need a microphone at all and i also didn't like because sometimes she was talking the audience was talking i it was just too much it was you know I, but I, again it was the first show so let's hope next week is better I will talk about next week because that's what I do. Um, but you know, kudos to Kaya for trying something different, getting out, you know, getting out her zone. You know what I'm saying? Being an all white thugged out angel and making it do what it do. So other than that, I am Jay Lee. <laughs> this is Jay Lee's Corner. Peace.